Sir, I have one question regarding risk Excel and cat Excel. Can I ask please, that now? Or ah, yeah, no, no, don't need to wait because uh, uh, it's better that we, as the questions are coming, we answer it. And then when you uh, look into the videos, your understanding will be much better. So don't uh, stop your questions or related to anything on reinsurance. Sir, so when the risk Excel triggers and when the cat Excel triggers. OK. Again, a very, very good question. Uh, as you would appreciate. Everybody buys both the risk Excel or majority of the people both buy both risk Excel and cat Excel. It's not either or. There's a concept in reinsurance called as inuring benefit. I N U R I N G inuring benefit. What the word inuring means come to the benefit of. Or come to the advantage of. That means. The concept of inuring benefit will decide. What is the order in which the treaties are going to work? Usually. Quota share will pay first. Then surplus will pay. Then risk Excel will pay. Only finally cat Excel will pay. That is the reason why we say quota share inures to the benefit of surplus treaty. Surplus treaty inures to the benefit of risk Excel. Risk Excel inures to the benefit of cat Excel. So this is what you expect that suppose there is a cat event. A cat event can have a cat cat Excel covers a cat catastrophic events. A risk Excel covers individual large losses. If there's a major earthquake, is it not possible that there are individual large losses? They can be. It's an overall cat event, big event, but also there can be for one factory or two factories or three factories, there can be a big flood loss. Now, can they not claim under risk Excel? Yes, they can claim under risk Excel. So, even in a cat event, when a large loss occurs, large single loss occurs, you will first claim under risk. First, you will anyway claim under surplus. Whatever is left out, that means whatever is your net, you are further protected by risk Excel. So you will claim under risk Excel. Whatever further net is, is there, all the net losses put together because risk losses, risk Excel, is done on a risk by risk level. Cat is doing on a event level. That means there's a total of all the net losses. So after your risk Excel, whatever net losses are all there, you add up all that. If the total is more than the attachment point, you will then claim under Cat Excel. So the order in which you will have is first the surplus treaty, then the risk Excel, then the Cat Excel. Now, in a CAT Excel, there is something called as two risk warranty. What does a two risk warranty mean? Two risk warranty means if a CAT Excel has to trigger, at least two risks should be affected. At least two, it will be hundreds, but at least two should be affected. For example, I'm sitting in a building. If suppose this building is insured, there's a flood in Hyderabad. And only this one building is affected by flood. Can I claim the claim the insurance company claim under cat Excel? No. Insurance company says at least two risk of yours, not in Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, you that you have insured, at least two risk should be affected. Then only your cat Excel will trigger. So that is why. Even just because it's a flood or just because an earthquake, you can't claim a cat Excel unless at least two risks are affected. That's called a two risk warranty. Now, many a times, some of your clients may say, I'm assuming you're a broker. If you're a broker and your client may say, if in a cat Excel, cat event, I am going to use up my risk Excel, all the layers of my risk Excel will be burnt in the event itself. Tomorrow when there's a large fire loss, I will not have risk Excel available. I have to rebuy it, which is very, very costly. 
how do I, if the client is asking you, how do I ensure that risk Excel is only used for fire and explosion losses or single large losses? So that after surplus, I directly claim from CAT Excel, I don't want to use my risk Excel. Risk of Excel. Huh? Will they buy risk come CAT Excel? No, no, not that. That means okay. they have bought a risk Excel separately, they have bought a CAT Excel separately, but they want to claim directly from CAT Excel without using the risk Excel in a CAT event. If they want to do it as the treaty stand today, they cannot do it. You have to follow the order. If they want to do it, you have to ensure, please note it down, in the risk Excel treaty, Reverse to risk warranty. In the risk Excel treaty, you should compulsorily have a reverse to risk warranty. What does the reverse to risk warranty says? It's the opposite of two risk warranty. Two risk warranty says the moment at least two risks are affected, CAT Excel will trigger. Reverse to risk warranty says the moment two risks are affected, risk Excel will not trigger. Only if you have put a reverse to risk warranty in risk Excel, that is when you can escape risk Excel directly from the surplus, you can claim from CAT Excel. This is a very, very good thing to do because then you can protect your risk Excel. CAT Excel is very huge. Just if you add a few more losses, it is not going to get affected, but risk Excel is small. If you are claiming too many things, your entire layers will be burnt out. And risk Excel will be priced on a burning cost. Next year, when you renew, you will get a very high price. So, if you use a reverse to risk warranty, that is when you can directly go from surplus into CAT Excel. Having said that, in the market, you will rarely find any risk Excel. I have seen the market across Asia, you will rarely find anybody having a reverse to risk warranty in risk Excel. So, theoretically what I'm saying is a fact, it's good, but nobody is buying it. That is what you have to keep in mind. 